Linda. Hello, I guess that there was a roasting involved. No, no, just a quick, like, just a kind of more like a grilling, like a quick, like a, yeah, easy, short, sweet. Uh, uh, we're just happy to be in a bar tonight and that we're not with the kids. How's that? Yeah. I got off on parenting for a hot little second. But also, Melissa, and I'll, I won't um, make you, uh, you know, put her on too much of a pedestal. But just maybe, just give me a favorite thing that you love about Melissa as a, as a partner, as a human being, and, and then maybe like a, one embarrassing story that we may not know. Go. <laughs> well, um, I, I'm actually very lucky. Hi, you guys. Oh, Etheridge Nation is here. Hi, you guys. I said Etheridge Nation is here. You even knew. That's awesome. There you go. Um, I'm, very, I'm very lucky that every day I wake up and there's music in our house. And um, she uh, plays everything all the time. Not, not all the time. Uh, no. She, there's just music in our house all the time. And I'm lucky enough that when I ask her to bring me water, I make her sing it. <laughs> and can I just say, this is freaking amazing. This, these women back here and an all-girl band. This is like... <laughs> Seriously, I know, it's crazy, guys. There's women in music. Huh, isn't that weird? This is awesome. It's just crazy. I, how am I doing? Should you're I doing be great. Oh, no, you're doing fantastic. I want a hit of what you had. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm sure you'd agree with me, Linda. Um, the fact that Melissa has been a voice for numerous causes also over the years, a voice for our planet, a voice for those battling AIDS, a voice for the LGBT community. Um, but for the most part, she's just a gal that is kicking ass in all aspects of life in the family sector. Absolutely, and the only thing that ever makes her angry is when her Kansas City Chiefs lose. So. <laughs> oh, sorry about the Chiefs. Yeah, there's that. There's that. But uh, what we love about Melissa Etheridge, there's so many things. We could go on and on, but I know we're going to wrap it up and have some cocktails and have a good time at the end of the night, but I, I did kind of write it down because I want to make sure that we know, and know for sure, loud and proud, that Melissa Etheridge kicks ass on stage, kicks half on behalf of others and all the causes that she's so passionate about. Kicks ass, yes. I just want, uh, Melissa talks about this one a lot. She's, she's badass, and you are one of the very first women that, in radio, that to, um, said to my wife, yeah, damn it, you're, you're, so thank you. You can't flip it on me, girl. <laughs> I do love that lady, so, um, well, here's the thing is I think that we can all agree with this, that genuine people know genuine people when you meet them, and um, that's what I truly love about Melissa Etheridge. She kicks ass in all aspects of her life. She kicked cancer's ass, remember that one? She is uh, an icon in every sense of the word, so I want to hear it loud and proud, because I'm not the only one who'd walk across the fire for her. Come on! Yeah. 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 So yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Thank you. What a pleasure. What a cool thing. You know, she rocks. It's funny. People. <laughs> people are asking a lot of questions about women these days. <laughs> And, um, you know, they, they, they come up and they say, well, you know, did you guys ever have any, any trouble, you know, in, in rock and roll, you know? With the, I said, like, well, there, there was enough of us to have trouble. It was like, you know. But uh, I got to tell you, even though it has been next to impossible, being a woman in the music business, we have succeeded and we have infiltrated every aspect of the music industry. We play the guitars and we rock, we play the drums and we rock. We work at the record companies and we rock. We discover the artists and we rock and we move on and we are a, a force to be reckoned with. And I am so proud to be among all, all the wonderful women tonight making music because, you know, thank you. Being a woman in rock and roll, 
uh, I, I remember, of course I remember when, uh, back in the 80s, when I would go out with my record rep and we'd go to the radio stations and they'd go, oh, I'm sorry, but we're already playing a woman. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, this is 1988. And then the floodgates opened and they, it was like everyone, it's, and all of a sudden it's all lit there and everything. So it was, uh, it was a, a good time to kick some doors down and we just, you know, we just keep doing it and we keep doing it over and over and I, I'm just, I'm so honored to be with so many of the other artists that are here tonight and getting the awards and uh, the B-52s, I love some Kate, I love those, you know, just the music that I grew up with. So I, I'm, I'm here to tell you, women, women write music, women sing music, women play music and, you know, she rocks. Thank you so much. <laughs>